As you can see, there's three trees. Well, they're bushes, trees, whatever. Local John 1812, back with another vlog. This one here has a bird's nest. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in on it. Let me back up just a tad bit. There we go. There it is there. So we are going to use that saw there. Kind of overkill for some of this. You might get some of those ones you just, you know, click, click, click like this and cut it. But what we're going to have to do is like, in this section here just cut them down now we're going to leave that one alone because there's a bird's nest in it and we're going to be fair to mother nature and to the birds so we're here so i'm here opening up the vlog working it's good friday so hope you guys are having a great holy week leading into easter sunday and uh, we're here to get some stuff done starting this vlog out you know sometimes the vlogs we go have fun sometimes the vlogs are working uh, this is that Friday, Saturday, Sunday vlog. Sometimes we go all the way to Sunday, don't we? Some of them are a little bit longer. So we're going to try to keep this one reasonable. Try to keep your attention. Hope you guys enjoy these and just enjoy being outside a little bit with the vlogging. I know some people vlog a lot in, like, in establishments and that type of stuff. I like to be out in the nature. Let me position you guys right here. So you can see me cut this down. I'm just going to try to reach up as high as I can and cut it. Hopefully my saw is working. Well, as you can see behind me, they're a lot smaller than they were. Here's the mess we got to pick up. We're going to put in this wheelbarrow. I got me some water. <laughs> but yeah, they're right there. They're kind of even. There's some that are a little bit sprouted higher than the other. That tree we did leave alone on that one end. We did cut in the middle of it, but we didn't disrupt that nest. We left the nest alone and made sure that the branches fell this way so they wouldn't hit the nest. So those three are a little bit taller. They look weird, but they're for the safety of that uh, bird and its family uh, and the little baby birds. So we're not going to mess with it. Uh, we're going to leave those other tree pieces around that nest and where that nest is we're gonna leave that here's our first trip we'll come around the building wheelbarrow didn't cut it up as good as i can battery started to go a little low i didn't have it fully charged there's an empty trash can i don't want to go completely in there it's kind of nasty looking but it's empty let's see how full we can get it all right guys there's where we filled it up. I've got to get in and smash it down. I want to show you guys something over here too with the power line, but let's get in here and smash this down first. All right, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> gosh darn. I fell down in there now. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can. Sorry guys, there we go. So you can see what's going on here. Sorry for the fall. I'm only one person holding this camera. Sorry for the muffled noise on the microphone too but it's just me and it's difficult vlogging by yourself is hard I'm gonna show you guys this power line over here though it looks really different than last time we did some work over here you guys gotta see it there's an empty can I'll pick up and throw away check this look look at this thing that's way not cool. I don't even know what kind of wire it is. I was going to cut some of these bushes and I just don't want to do that yet. I think they've called the company, electrical company out. I don't know if it came loose from a storm, if it's a cable wire. I don't know. Let me back up a little bit more. There it is there. Look at it. Let me back up. There it goes. 
Huh. Wow. So I don't know what it is, but our work is done. We have a Friday service tonight for Good Friday. I'm gonna go in even while I'm gonna go in even while work clothes on. Yeah, I think God understands. Don't mean to go in there undressed, but it's already close for a service to start and I don't have time to run home. So I think God understands, right? So alright. Let's get this going. Alright, we're here at the church. Get ready to have service. And I didn't have a chance to go home and clean as you guys know. So we're just here to worship God on Friday night. I'm getting a phone call to camera mom. I gotta pick it up. We'll catch you guys after the service. Jesus had been talking to his disciples and trials, telling them mysterious things. If the world hates you, keep in mind that they hated me first. Since they will persecute me, they will probably persecute you. They will treat you this way because of my name, for they do not know the one who sent them. But now they have seen miracles, and yet they have hated both me and my Father in heaven. Jesus has been having a lot of trouble with the authorities and others from the villages. Hi right. guys! Saturday, it's Saturday. So Friday, yesterday, we did some little bit of things. Y'all saw me working. I ain't got no work to do today. Neither do I. Well, I might have to go over and check, but I mean, I really don't have any work to do today. Um, got some stuff trying to go get some she needs to get a peanut butter pie from okay no nope. stop so i'm sure all of you or most of you have heard about this costco peanut butter pie on the interwebs and i'm gonna tell you as an employee i have had it and it's freaking amazing that's what Today. they say that's what they say I, I think I got like a bite of one. I never had a full piece, which I'm on a diet right now anyways. You guys know I'm on a diet. So, been on a diet for the last few weeks. Uh, not really sticking to it, but I'm going to try to as I keep progressing. It's trying to stay away from the fried food as much as I can. Trying to stay away from that stuff. Uh, salads and stuff. I mean, you know, that's what I'm trying to get to. Last night I did have soup and salad at Olive Garden. Uh, which I didn't think was that bad. I did overeat too many breadsticks though. I probably ate like three or four, so that's not good. But the salad was good. I ate a ton out of the salad. I love salad. It was weird. After I ate the salad, I felt like I ate a lot of salad. I'm not going to lie. I probably ate what? Three? You ate like three little plates. Three little plates of salad. Now, I find it very weird because after I got done, my stomach looked more round and bloated as if I just ate fast food. Now, I don't know if it was the breadsticks or what. I don't know. But I was like, I was in the, I was in the bathroom <laughs> brushing my teeth and it reminded me of that time when, uh, and I'm not getting this big yet, but it reminded me of the time whenever I think it was uh, Tim Allen in Santa Claus when he was like, you know, jiggling his belly oh, and stuff. My Lord. And I'm going, oh, this is, this is disgusting. So you have the Grinch bot. I think so, but not not as bad. Like, I don't know. Uh, I still need to work out. I might go by the gym real quick and work out, too. Camera mom won't like that, but I need to, though, because we pay a membership, and I need to be in there at least, you know, once every day or once every other day. I did legs yesterday. I did go work out and do legs yesterday. So, we're out and about. She's got to get that pie. I'm going to try, honestly, to avoid eating that stuff uh, during Easter. We're going early, though, because we were out yesterday after I got off work and they said that there should be some more out this morning but we open at 9 30 it's 9 09 right now and they'll probably be gone pretty quick so it's gonna be like Black Friday busting elbows in the door you know no I'm playing no it could get crazy <laughs> it could get crazy I mean it As did before tell. whenever uh Whenever people were going for the pumpkin pies. Remember Thanksgiving? Yeah, yeah, the pumpkin pies, man. So. But they are good, too, so. All right, camera mom and I are at EI Sports. John's grandpa got him the, uh, what do you call those jackets? School jackets. Letterman jackets. Letterman jackets here at EI Sports. He paid for it and everything. And 
we are heading in to get it. Uh, I was just working out at the gym, he's and I was really like, "Really proud of him." Yeah, he's, he's the reason why. He's really proud of him. My dad wanted to do sports and stuff in school, but he couldn't because he said he blew out his knee in freshman year playing basketball, and he said he wanted to do something that he could be proud of, mm -hmm. and so he he said that he wanted to get him his Letterman's jacket. Right, and. So. And John has uh, his he patches. Has no clue about it either. John has his patches so far for, um, or at least his his numbers for he's wrestling. Twenty twenty five, and he's got his letter. Letter. And he's got uh, we we did the bowling patch and the wrestling patch. So he's got those two patches and all that information. So that's cool. So we're gonna go here and pick it up. We'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so there is John's. There's John's jacket. There. Show the front. There is the front side there. It's got his name on it, his number, his patches for wrestling and bowling. Pretty cool. Okay. That's something we appreciate uh, John's grandpa doing that for us. Uh, those jackets are expensive. They, needless to say, if anybody's ever been to go do those, it gets expensive. And, uh, you know, John's worked really hard. He, heading into Denny's, we're going to get something. I'm going to get something healthy. I'm going to get something healthy. Open 24-7 now. It's been a while. But they've been open now 24-7 for a few, I think a few months. But um, maybe a year. Heck, I don't know. But we're coming in. I'm going to find something healthy to eat. Uh, probably a grilled chicken salad or something or maybe some eggs and bacon. But try to stay away from the pancakes and that type of stuff. Alright, as you can see from the sign, we're out here to do some disc golf today. Uh, Pastor is going to be throwing with me. I probably won't get him on the camera, but uh, I will. This is what it looks like. And that's what the disc golf, disc golf baskets look like. Um, those are for you who are not familiar with disc golf. So we're going to uh, try to film as much as we can, maybe a toss or two. Um, there's people who do not like to be, you know, on camera and then also showing them do their stuff. So, you know how respectful I am. So, I'll throw some and maybe Pastor can record it for me and uh, show you guys what's going on. Comment down below if you do any type of disc golf or anything of that nature. Uh, I've never thrown on here, but definitely going to be exciting. We've thrown at other ones near here. So, uh, kind of windy. So, it'll be kind of loud with the wind, but hopefully we get to see some good throws. The wind may affect some of it we don't throw that great we don't throw that far like other people i mean they throw really far really good but we're just kind of learning we've been doing it about a year um but not consistent not where we're trying to get a lot better not like i do bowling so we'll see we'll see for you guys right here <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. Man. Long putt. Squirrel. Just leave it record. Easter Sunday. We're heading to church. So we got that to do. Uh, we gotta go to church, then we gotta go to her mom's and my mom's. Okay, I'm gonna make a little speech here. First of all, you can turn to daddy. Oh, yeah. Is that okay? It's going to go on YouTube. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gone. God. Here you go. Welcome to our new house. This is our first get together. Yeah. And right now, I'd like to say something to John, little John. John. You are an extraordinary person. And I know that your mom and your dad are proud of you. Me and Anna's proud of you. I know Chuck and Lisa's proud of you. And you've accomplished a lot. And for this, everybody's proud of you. And I hope you continue to grow into a great guy that you're 
started to be in, you only have two faults. You're a little slow and you don't talk loud enough. But if you take some of that loudness from your mom <laughs> and transfer it, that'd be great. <laughs> so, to show how proud we are of you. Let me move. Turn that way. I'd like to present you with this. Her. She'd like to try it on. When I was in high school, I would have loved to have one of these jackets. <laughs> but I always thought they were so cool. And plus, whoever had one was a. Can you hold it by your button? Like a girl magnet. All the girls went for the guy that wore these sports jackets. you accomplished and you'll wear that with pride. Thank you. We love you. It's a little on the big side, but thank you for growing too. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. Good. I like it. It's awesome. We appreciate it because that's a that's like a big you know thing for um, high schoolers to have those type of jackets. Yes. And is. most individuals who that's do care instructions do sports and stuff and all kinds of sports they really need one of those jackets because it just shows everybody all their work and determination that they do. Be, you know, you go to school, you have to do school work, then you got to go to wrestling practice, then you got to go bowling practice, then you got to go back and do more reports and stuff, and you fall behind a little bit in some classes, you got to catch back up, then you fall behind in wrestling, then you fall behind it. So it's like, a, it's a lot of determination. So wearing those jackets is something very prideful. So, um, you know. It people that you want to participate. Mm hmm You know. Yep. Be a part of it. It's awesome. And that... And let me tell you, those jackets take very, very good care of it because... That way it can last you through your senior year. Yes. There's yeah. men that are grown men that still, still have, have those. jackets. Yep. Oh, yeah. 30 or 40 years old. Yep. Jackets are 30 or 40 years old. It's got your two patches on it. And, and you, you can, can add get, to it. You can add more to it as you get into other stuff. Oh, yep. More accomplishments, something may else go on there, or something, it just depends, you know, whatever you might do something different to. So, <laughs> huh? Check all the doors real quick. Camera mom is getting ready to check the doors at the church. It's Sunday night, guys. It's the end of Easter. We made it. We're back here to do, guess what? Some work. Uh, <laughs> so, we got to make sure everything's cleaned up for tomorrow. And I can't leave all this stuff out. I need to get it put it back up. And then I might as well go ahead and clean this other stuff because uh, Rebecca, the uh, individual, is here to um, help me clean. That used to work with us. Now she has went on to a different job. So I have to take back over some of her stuff, obviously, the bathrooms and all that. So Sunday night on Easter after 9 o'clock. And this is how we're going to end the vlog, letting you guys know we're back to doing uh cleaning God's house and, uh, you know, spreading the good news about God. So I hope you guys had a great Easter. Um, remember he has risen, right? It's awesome for us and, uh, for everyone else. And we'll pray for everyone, you know, and then, uh, what's coming up on the channel. Well, we have, uh, an update on the facial stuff with the hair. I call it stuff, but it's the facial hair. Uh, we're still using it. King C Gillette. Uh, products, the beard thickener and beard oil. I was running low and I could not complete until April 11th, so I had to buy some new. Well, we have something we might be adding to it, but I'm not going to add it till I film it, okay? So you guys just be on the lookout for that. That'll probably be within the next day or so. 
And then um, we'll also do a food review in between there. And then we'll be looking forward to coming back up to another weekend vlog with the family. So hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs. But this is what we're doing right now. And it's just show like real glimpse of real stuff from real people who don't have thousands and thousands and millions of dollars or anything. So hope you guys are enjoying this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Till next time, guys. Happy family vlogging. Happy YouTube, guys. Later. Peace.